Father God, thank you for bringing us all together today to celebrate this very, very special day between Taylor and Alyssa. My dearest Alyssa, I remember our first date almost like it was yesterday. I remember meeting you at Dark Heart Coffee and settling into our table by the window. I remember starting to talk to you and time disappeared. I couldn't believe an hour could go like that. I remember leaving Dark Heart thinking I could spend every second of my life with you and that you were special. These last three years have been some of the best years of my life. And now we are getting married. I have waited so long and prayed in hopeful expectation that this day would come, believing God had a plan for me. I can't tell you how hard it was at times. And if I'm being honest, there were times I didn't think that this day would come. But I believed God had a plan for me and that he is faithful. And I am so glad that I waited. You are everything that I have ever hoped for and prayed for. that just about three years ago, we were just two people who happened to go to Creighton at the exact same time, and who probably crossed paths that one time, but just didn't even know it until now. God truly works in amazing and mysterious ways, and I'm so glad that he brought me to that church small group that night. I'm so thankful for all of the memories that we have shared so far, and I can't wait to make more memories in the many years to come. In just a few short hours, I'll walk down the aisle and become your wife. What a week it has been leading up to this day. It was one of the busiest and maybe craziest time in our life, from closing on our house and making it feel like a home, to preparing our hearts and ourselves for this day. I can't imagine going through this life with anyone else. One thing I know for sure is that if we can make it through a pandemic and the stress of that, with moving, changing jobs, amongst other things, we can make it through any obstacle that life throws in our way and I know that you will be standing right beside me as we battle it together. Taylor, I thank God for you. Thank you for being the kind, caring, selfless, and extremely patient man that you are. One of the very first things that drew me to you was your love for the Lord. Your desire and passion for Christ is amazing and is something I always prayed for in a future spouse and father to my children. Thank you for showing me what it means to be truly loved, what it means to lean on God during times of uncertainty, and for bringing me closer to God through faith. Thank you for being the man of my hopes, prayers, and dreams. I love the way light dances in your eyes, especially when you are being a little mischievous or you want something with sugar. I love seeing you smile and how your smile can light up my entire day. I love your compassionate and caring heart that magnifies God's love in so many ways. I love your heart for Jesus. I love that I can spend all the time in the world with you and feel like no time has passed. I love all the dates that you have taken me on, like seeing 1917 with me, and that was when I knew I loved you. I love that you have taken me to see Kenny G and the symphony to play Star Wars. I love that I can feel safe around you and trust you with anything. I love how you have taught me to be a better man in so many ways. I could fill page after page telling you all of the things that I love about you. Fortunately, I have the rest of our lives to tell you. I can still look back on a letter that I wrote to myself in January of 2019 before meeting you. I wrote down all of the characteristics of the man that I had been praying for but just hadn't met yet, and I wanted to share it with you. The note is titled, The Man I Love. A man who continually pursues me while looking to God for strength and direction. A man who brings me closer to God. A man who challenges me in my faith because he is strong in his. A man who makes me a better person. A man who allows me to experience new things. 
a loving, hardworking, fearless, faithful, truthful, understanding, adventurous, spontaneous, athletic, encouraging, and thoughtful man who fights for me and always fights for us. Looking back on this day today, as I write you this letter, I see the faithfulness of God who brought not only me a man who meets all of these characteristics, but exceeds them. All of those years of prayer, God knew exactly what I needed. He was preparing us in our hearts for each other, and it was more than worth the wait to have finally found you. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife today and every day. I'm so incredibly lucky to have such a strong, caring, and loving man of God by my side. My love today is just the start of the rest of our lives. Our best days are ahead of us, and I can't wait to see what God has planned. Being your husband is the greatest honor and privilege of my life, and I cannot wait to marry you. Forever and always, Taylor. Love your wife, Alyssa. We thank you for this glorious day. It is a day you've made. It's a day that you have known before any of us were even born. You're the sustainer. You're the giver of life. You're the creator of the heavens and the earth, but you made us in your image. We thank you for Taylor and of Alyssa, and we thank you for their love that has been bonded in the love of Christ in a very uh, powerful way. Mostest ever, the end I win. <laughs> Don't you can't kiss her yet, okay? <laughs> you the most, I don't mean that I love you more than you love me. It means I love you more than the bad days we have ahead of us. I love you more than the worst fights we might ever have, more than any obstacle that might try to come between us. Taylor, love of my life and my forever best friend, I love you the most, the end I win. <laughs> God is showing together, let no one separate. Taylor, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, for the very first time, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Taylor and Alyssa Clapp. <laughs>
can't imagine a couple more ready and more right for this blessing. Taylor, thank you for always setting the right example that I can look up to as your younger brother. I will always be proud to call you my older brother. May you always care deeply, other, and love each other unconditionally. So, we fast forward to today. September 4th, 2022, another one of the most very important days in our lives. A very important day in the life of our family as we welcome a daughter to our family. And I see Taylor and I see the love that, that he and Alyssa have together. And I know it's gonna be a lasting love. I once made up a saying, and I still think it's true today. Getting through life isn't about what you have. Getting through life is about what you have to offer. Taylor and Alyssa, you have so much to offer to each other, to your families, to your community, and to the world. Today we celebrate all that you are together, filled with God's grace as husband and wife. May your life of love and happiness last forever.